A school shooting in Kentucky left two students dead and 18 others hurt this week. It brings into question how our own public schools would handle an active shooter situation if the worst were to happen here. News 3's Danny Dyke spoke with campus police about how they prepare and train schools to ensure a safe learning environment. In the building, please! In the tech center! A place of learning turned into a scene of chaos. People down, one unresponsive. A 15-year-old is facing murder and assault charges after killing two students and wounding more than a dozen in Kentucky. It's the 11th school shooting this month. When we hear about incidents like Kentucky, it's a reminder to us of where our focus should be. Terry Enoch is the chief of police for the Board of Education Police Department. He trains students and staff members year-round on how to respond to an active shooter situation. If they're going to come in there and think that it's going to be easy, um, they got another thing coming. Campus police go from school to school instructing students and staff members on when to run, hide, or fight to survive. They also place a strong focus on prevention, making sure events that happen off campus don't bleed into schools. We know that uh, if you pay attention to the community, it's a great barometer of what can happen in our schools. Law enforcement also encouraged students to attend mentoring programs and anti-bullying events to talk through their problems instead of solving them with violence. Through prevention, what we realize, it takes more than campus police. It takes more than school administrators. It takes the students and the community and everyone working together. Constantly working to make sure the most comfortable places aren't the most vulnerable. Danny Dykes, WSAV News 3. If you ever see or hear something suspicious at a school, you're asked to contact an administrator or campus police right away. You can also call Crime Stoppers anonymously at 912-234-2020.